The last card, my hands helmet cursed. Uh, so this was originally written into German and then translated into English. I think the title varies. Sometimes it's translated as Death Plays the Last Card. Uh, it's a historical novel about Richard Sorge. So Richard Sorge, I already talked about him once when I was reviewing the movie Spy Sorge, which, which was a movie about Richard Sorge. But uh, I'll just give a quick background here. Uh, I'll try not to repeat myself too much. This is just kind of the very quick version. Uh, Richard Sergei was a Soviet spy in Japan during World War II. Uh, he had kind of, I think, dual citizenship. He was both Soviet and German, so he kind of played himself off as a member of the German embassy in Japan, but he was feeding war secrets back to the Soviets. Uh, eventually he got caught and then executed, but still kind of is one of those interesting little historical figures. I mean, for one thing, just kind of his story as a spy in World War II era Japan. I mean, I, I don't think there were that many other spies in Japan during World War II. He's the only one that I know of, so he's interesting for that reason. But then also there's a theory, and it's a little bit debated, but there's a theory that he changed the course of the war because he was able to get information back to Russia, to, to the Soviet Union, that Japan was not planning to invade. Uh, and so arguably, based on that information, uh, the Soviets took all their soldiers from the eastern border and put them all on the western border against Hitler. So that kind of freed up all of Stalin's armies to, to kind of all go against Hitler. And arguably, that ended up turning the tide against Hitler and thus changing the whole course of World War II. I, I say arguably because there are some people who debate, you know, whether... Well, I, I'm not going to get into that whole thing. Uh, if, if you want more information, go on to Wikipedia. I'm just giving a brief summary here. Anyways, I was interested in the character of Richard Sergei after having seen this Japanese biopic on his life, Spy Sergei, which, which I've reviewed previously. Uh, so, I thought I'd kind of see if there are any interesting books out there on him. And, you know, I just kind of searched Amazon, as you do, and this came up. Now, this is historical fiction, so this is not like an academic history, or, I mean, it's not like a history at all. But it's, uh, I mean, it's historical fiction in which all of the characters are real historical people and they just kind of write out it like a novel. So, you know, the, the, they take the liberties of kind of saying what they thought or kind of reconstructing conversations. So it's history, it's real history, but it's historical fiction. You all know what historical fiction is, huh? Why am I explaining this? Anyways, uh... This book has been out of print for a long time, but, you know, in this day and age, it's never been easier to find old books. Just go to Amazon. You can order it. I've always thought historical novels were the most pleasant way to learn history. I mean, it, com it combines all the pleasures of a novel with the interest of history. Um, but it does always kind of leave you wondering, right? You're like, okay, how much of this is real and how much of this is the novel? Uh, and that was certainly true after I finished this book. And I wish I was better informed uh, on the details of Sorge's life so I could, I could give a more intelligent critique of this book. Uh, as it is, all I can kind of talk about is some of the questions it left me with. Based on what I knew about Sergei, the parts of this book didn't feel right to me. For example, I thought, I, I had gotten the impression that Sergei had gone to such deep lengths to keep his cover as a spy, uh, well, cover, to, 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 to stay undercover as a spy. So, you know, even though he was a communist, he was pretending to be a loyal Nazi uh, while he was working with the German embassy. But in this book, uh, Sergei is uh, an outspoken critic of the Nazi regime. Uh, he's making speeches, he's getting into fist fights with Hitler's supporters. And I thought, well, is this true? And 
I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to leave this to somebody more knowledgeable than me. Uh, the book is set in Japan, of course. I mean, the whole kind of story takes place in Japan. But uh, Japan or the Japanese people have very little to do with it. It's kind of the, the main characters are kind of Sorge, Richard Sorge and the, the German embassy. And Japan is mostly in the background. Uh, nevertheless, uh, a few members of Sorge's Tokyo spy ring do show up in the book. Uh, Yo Yotoku Miyagi and Hotsumu Ozaki, uh, also in the, the movie Spy Sorge, and they pop up in the book here. Uh, this book was written by a German author, um, and maybe because it was written by a German author, they play up Sergei's sense of patriotism. In other words, he's not just kind of uh, a Soviet disguised as a German who's selling out the Germans to Russia. He's a patriot who's doing his best to put Germany on the right course. Uh, and by sending information to Stalin, uh, he's hoping to avoid war. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, another thing Sergei did is, through his contacts in the German embassy, he was able to give Stalin advance notice of the fact that Hitler was planning to invade. Uh, Stalin chose to ignore this, but Richard Sergei had actually passed on the information. Now, in the context of this historical novel, he's doing this because he's a patriot, and he's hoping that if Stalin is forewarned, Stalin can kind of get ready, and then the whole war will be avoided. So he's, he's not looking to sell out Germany so much as put Germany on the correct path, in this historical novel at least. It, is that the real Richard Sergei? Again, I don't know. I mean, if, if somebody out there knows more about this, feel free to comment. I'm just going to have to leave it as a question. Still, those nitpicks aside, I, I guess what you want to know is, is it interesting? Is it a good read? Yes, it is, uh, especially if you like a good spy story. And if you especially if you like a good spy story that just happens to be true, uh, a fascinating read, I'd recommend it.